Hi, I'm Rebecca and this weekend I'm going to be running a stall at a local flea market. Earlier today I purchased this box of little sale price stickers to put on everything. I think they stand out and look nice and professional. I've got together several boxes worth of items from around my home, everything from kitchen implements to small appliances to clothing and camping gear, and it's currently all sitting on the floor waiting to be taken out and turned into cash. My expenses for market day will be $15 for the stall, $5 to hire a table, and $12 for this box of price labels. So I only need to sell $32 worth of stuff to break even. Doesn't sound too hard. The way I'm looking at it is that any money I make out of selling this stuff is a bonus. Everything is going to be priced to sell and I'm willing to negotiate in the interest of shifting as much of it as possible. That is the objective at the end of the day, decluttering my home to make the moving process easier. There are some bigger, more valuable items that I want to make sure I get a decent price for, but I won't be taking these to the market. This is all about selling the small stuff. I also went so far as to retrieve several boxes of books and toys from my childhood home. They might only sell for a couple of dollars each, but it all adds up. It'll add some variety to my stall as well. I'm super excited to try this and see what happens, and I'm going to share all my results with you, so keep watching. I'm making a stall inventory sheet here, um, which I'm going to take with me on the day. It lists everything that is going to be on the stall, so that I can keep track of what I've still got and what I've sold during the day. As I sell things, I'm just going to cross them off. Um, at the end, when I pack everything up, I can make sure that nothing's gone missing, and I'll also have a good idea of how much I've actually sold. I've just recorded how much cash I've withdrawn, um, what my expenses will be on the day, and how much float I'll be starting with. And that way I'll be able to calculate what my profit actually is. My cleverly disguised piggy bank. Because, hey, would you steal someone's hemorrhoid treatment? I don't think so. Nobody is going to touch this. When I arrived on market day, it was dark, windy, and pouring with rain. Luckily though, by the time it came light, the weather was starting to clear up, and I was able to put more of my stock out on display. Then, as items sold, I kept on rearranging the table and adding new items to keep it looking fresh. Um, if you change it up every, you know, 15 minutes, half an hour or so, then it um, keeps people stopping to have a look. And even if they've been past before, they might then see something that catches their attention. It's a good idea to um, take a friend with you to help out so that someone can watch the stall at all times. You can't sell anything if you're not there. And I was really surprised at how many people just wandered off and left their stuff unattended. Also make it easy for people to browse. I saw others just pile a heap of clothes on a table and leave customers to sort through on their own. They sold very little and packed up and left after the first couple of hours. I sold a total of 32 items on the day and finished with $277.50 in the piggy bank. People bought some seriously weird stuff. A lot of what I felt were the best items attracted practically no attention, while other really obscure things sold very fast. The first item to sell, while it was still dark and raining, was a box containing two plastic toy snakes. So random, and yet the customer paid $2 for it without any hesitation whatsoever. All the stationery sold, and uh, quite a few of the stuffed toys and the more exotic books. Um, mainly those from the mid-90s that you don't see so much now. And it wasn't just plastic snakes. I had several collections of toy animals, including dinosaurs, farm animals, zoo animals, and a bunch of weird Australian insects and really disturbing looking spiders, and all of them sold. It seems they're a novelty these days and not so easy to find. So of the 277.50 that I uh, had in the piggy bank at the end of the day, 140 of that was float, and $11 went on buying lunch from vendors at the market. This means profits for the day were $126.50 by my calculations. I have mixed feelings about the results. On one hand, $126 doesn't seem like much for the amount of work, and it did take a lot of organizing. But that revenue was generated out of items that had extremely low individual value. I had to bring a lot of stuff back home again, and some of that I will try to sell via other means. Other items, like the rest of the stuffed toys, I'll probably just give to charity now. Um, it's not really worth trying again to sell it. Would I do it again? Yes, I would, but probably not in the near future. Um, I'll focus on selling off some of the bigger items um, through places like Trade Me and that next, I think. 
Thank you very much for watching my Preparing to Move series. If you liked this video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you very soon.